What's up guys? Let's get it that live arena again today. The thing is that um, as you may know I was on holidays just recently and then I got a bunch of new new stuff like new GPU, new SSD and one thing that I also did is I changed I put a new operating system on my new SSD. Of course all of my settings were screwed I was already trying to do a video starting like 20 minutes ago but I just now now realized that it doesn't work and the, the video is screwed even though I was trying to get all of these fights on the video but it is what it is. Those other fights earlier I didn't have time to play. Play full session and I do now but we kind of already, already missed like 40 minutes so that sucks. Anyway, in case you wondered why I didn't um, do videos last two days, a bunch of people asked me suddenly why I didn't make videos, even though being very inconsistent is not something new to me. But yeah, I just came back from holidays and I was busy with other stuff and I skipped out on a couple days, but there is gonna be a lot, uh, a lot regular videos again. Actually, I'm recording this video on like Thursday evening. That's why I really want to want to do it right now, even though I kind of missed out 40 minutes. But um, I'm gonna have guests on weekend, so actually it's kind of uh, interrupting me again. But I'm gonna I'm gonna try to make some uh, videos in advance, and this video is probably gonna be on weekend when I have guests, and not tomorrow. I mean. Tomorrow is Friday. I'm gonna, I'm gonna stream on Friday. So this is gonna be either on Saturday or Sunday. Mikake and Harima. That's kind of unique first two picks. I mean, they're both great champions, but I don't see that combo usually. But yeah, I I got a bunch of new toys. And you know, if you have a new operating system, you have to like put all of the settings again. So OBS should be working now. I also had some issues with the camera, which is very new. So, but I already already managed to screw the settings once. But now that all of the all of the stuff on the PC is fixed, I have like better PC. So I'm gonna enjoy it. Not that it matters on like. <laughs> Doing live arena, but maybe, maybe it will matter when playing MMOs and doing videos. Or I mean, it will it will be pretty relevant there. Uh, let me see. Do I even want to go with? No, he has to be one hooker. Maybe I should just go with Staldos actually. No, not, not even try to try to force Rotos against him. Should I go with Necret and Staldos? Let, let's give it a go. But yeah, I got new um, SSD, new GPU. I bought I put Windows 11 on the new SSD. I had 10 on on my other one. I've never used Windows 11 before. Not that I see any like noticeable changes. Although like um, I was kind of panicky, <laughs> panicky after I installed the GPU. I'm not sure if it was the new GPU or GPU or new operating system. Pretty sure it's like it probably was like the GPU driver so something like thinking retroactively. But um, when I like after I put the GPU up and installed Windows 11 the game was or the PC was working fine for multiple hours maybe like three or four hours. Then it suddenly like I had like a black screen and then um, the fan started going super high and then the PC didn't shut down but I got like black screen and I was super panicky that uh, did I break the GPU or like is it faulty maybe maybe the cables are broken or something like that but um, and then like uh, I like I um, I took the GPU off and I like double checked that all of the cables were in properly. 
because I didn't have these issues before. Wait, can I just kill the Harima? No. And um, then it again, it didn't like. Actually, after that, I updated the drivers. That was one of the things that I thought maybe my GPU driver just um, had some issues since I didn't like update it after installing it. And um, then I even like. Um, no, I did it afterwards, okay. Then I played for maybe like four hours again, and then the same thing happened. Then I was super panicked, I, I thought actually the GPU is faulty or something like that. But now it's been like two days and it hasn't happened again. And I even like tried to see that if I run some, um, some like PC tests, if the issue is like the cables or GPU or something like that, it surely would have crashed again in that case and I did a couple tests and I it didn't crash so I ran harder tests and it didn't so I I think we're good I have no idea why my computer or why the the computer didn't shut down but why I got black screen twice I understand it's something something to do with the GPU because the GPU um, pretty sure it like shut down temporarily or something like that it shut down from like I thought it was like faulty cables or something like that but uh, or GPU but I think it maybe was like some kind of weird driver issue but I would like done some like editing and other work and played some Elden Ring so I don't think it's gonna <laughs> it's not gonna crash anymore anyway that's a long story about something other than raid also Speaking of something other than Raid, one of the reasons, it, well, it's not really the reason, but um, like I wanted new GPU for editing and new MMOs, and there's gonna be a new MMO in a couple months, Throne and Liberty. Not that I have very high expectations for that game, but I'm definitely gonna play it. So, if anyone is also gonna play it in EU, especially, then hit me up. I don't have like some kind of clan or like team team pre-planned on it and I wasn't really that hyped about this MMO to be honest so on some other games I had like clan months before release but on this one I'm not really I, I didn't really put that much effort I can actually show my GPU okay we lost it give me a sec Now I can, oh fuck, now I can test my cam, new camera's functions functions as well, but um, this is what I got. RTX 4070 Super. I was with, uh, I want to say 3060 Ti, maybe like, it's maybe like five years old, so it was completely functional, but uh, you could do a pretty pretty big upgrade if you wanted to so and I, I was kind of thinking that I can I can still sell my old GPU for good price at this point so I was trying to rationalize it that that's why it's a it's a smart uh, smart move to upgrade it I, I know some people are gonna roast me that why why the fuck are you upgrading your uh, your PC for raid videos but you know I do some other stuff I'm a more game star but I truly truly am into and raid has always been kind of you know a game that I play while waiting for new MMOs and also also I, I have been playing a little bit of uh, rust lately so if anybody knows rust i mean i guess it's pretty 
a well-known game. Can't really play Rust all the time, but I I play a server like every every other week or something like that. Damn. Galatiron Lazarus. I actually met a couple people today with full primal teams. Those are definitely getting w way more common. Should I go with them? Um, almost feel like maybe I'll go with uh, Staldus again. L let's see what he picks. But but yeah, if you play Rust in EU, you, well, I, I guess I could play US servers too, but if you play Rust or if you plan to play uh, Tron and, and Liberty, you, you could hit me up. I Yeah, I, I, I'm not really... I am kind of looking for a clan in Tron and Liberty. We'll see how long, long I play it. I was speaking with some of my old clan mates from Black Desert Online. Shout out to um, them. I don't know if they want me to, <laughs> to say their names on video, so I'm not gonna. But um, they had kind of mixed response. I, I spoke with two guys. The other one is super excited, and the other one, <laughs> other one played Throne and Liberty. I think both in um, damn. I think I guess we're still gonna go with Trotos and not Stalos. He played Throne and Liberty both in beta and the Asian version. And he wasn't super impressed, so we'll see. If he didn't pick that Carol, I was so gonna pick Staldus. But I think I want to ban Galatir. I don't really want to ban Carol, so I, I guess we're gonna go with this. Rod Rodos is gonna be a bit more tanky than Staldus. I also made a Throne and Liberty channel on my discord we'll we'll see how many people actually play it but from what i've at least spoken in dms i haven't really put in that in the discord before but i think a lot of raid players generally play mmo games so i kind of expect um expect that there might be some interest i remember when the last new mmo that i played was alien online and Lost Ark released around the same time as well. And I wasn't super excited about Lost Ark because I'm not into those top-down type of games and lots of instances. And I, I guess it's debatable, but I wouldn't really consider a Lost Ark an MMO. Some people are going to disagree with me, but I think Lost Ark is MMO in the same way as let's say Path of Exile is MMO, it kind of is, but not not the kind of MMO that I think about. But yeah, I, I played Elion and Murdering was super into Lost Ark. And, and I, I guess they both kind of died long time ago. Elion was super fun for like first six months and I think they, they pretty much uh, closed down the game like Shortly, shortly after that, I think the game was only, only live for like less than a year, and it was shut down. I don't think I have enough damage to kill the Sifi with the A2. Maybe I should kill the Arbiter with the A3 instead. Yeah, uh, yeah, let's do this. Sifi didn't have a shield, so she wouldn't die to the A2. There's also a game that I'm gonna stream on uh, Friday, I guess, before this video, and I think a bunch of other great content content creators are gonna do that too. But um, like like an RTS game, not a, not an MMO or mobile game, but an RTS game, Battle Aces. I'll do that, and I think I'm probably gonna. Like, since I'm very new to streaming, even though it might uh, might sound kind of weird, but uh, since I finally started streaming, I think I'm gonna also stream some other stuff than Raid as well. I'm kind of interested to try that. 
I'll definitely stream the Drone and Liberty at the launch, and I'll probably make some videos about it too. Or I'll definitely make videos, but we'll see how long I actually play it and if I'm impressed by the game. I feel like that camera angle is a little bit off. <laughs> Sorry about this, this might look kind of weird. Okay, that seems a little bit better. One thing, okay, this is gonna sound funny. One thing I don't really have yet, like the camera is new, I had it for like a couple weeks. Um, I don't really have a proper stand for it, so it's kind of... <laughs> I, I, I have like my web camera stand that is connected to the camera that isn't very tall, and it's on a cardboard box <laughs> behind my screen, so it's not like a permanent setup and it's a little bit shaky so I had to put it there. There every time that I do a video or stream, I can't really leave it permanent. <laughs> permanent there because I'm afraid that it's gonna fall down from the cardboard box. Yes, sorry if it like, maybe, I hope it doesn't come off like I'm flexing with all of my new shiny toys, but I'm, you know, trying to, trying to up the, like, the setup for our videos and so on, so. Did I speak about the camera? I feel like I mentioned it on a video that, um, I did buy the camera second hand. I, I got a super good deal on it, like. If I, if I bought it as new, like uh, the camera and the lens, it would have costed me more, more than double that I, what I paid for it. So I was kind of trying to be both like uh, economical, practical and a little bit. I don't know if you can even call that like a environmentalist action, but I was, I was kind of keen on, uh, or I didn't mind getting a used camera, so. But it, it was basically like an unused camera, like basically, very little used. But yeah, I spent on that and a bunch of other things and now I'm just <laughs> flexing about them on video. Well, my bad if that sounds a little bit, uh, bit uh, how, how would you say, like that I'm bragging about it. Well, may maybe it doesn't because I think, I think a lot of people that play Raid are a lot richer than me, so maybe it will sound like poor person bragging to some people, but yeah. In either case, it wasn't really my intention. I, I hope everything works on the video though. Like I said, I had to put all of the settings on everything on the PC again. Maybe that something is still faulty and this video actually actually doesn't sound good. By the way, I got, I got like a funny thing that I got the, the sheep that Plarium sent us for all of the... Out of the arena enjoyers, uh, I have it like... I can I can kind of put it right now like into my microphone stand. <laughs> but I'll, I'll send a picture about it later, maybe on the YouTube community channel. <laughs> but it looks kind of funny that I can just mount the sheep on my camera stand. It it fits perfectly, but you you'll see it later. I ha I have it like handy that I can read reads out to it at any moment. By the way, I haven't looked Reddit for like a week. Probably should do that on today's video as well.
Okay. That almost looked a little bit harder than it ended up being. Well, Lazarus is very strong, but I feel like he's kind of like Narcissus that um, the damage isn't like Georgie damage. Sometimes you might not have enough of it, and if they don't like have super strong builds that they can like instantly lock me out and get kills, it's a lot less threatening or like. There's a massive variation between different accounts. Also, I have like a bunch of videos that I should have done like days ago that are kind of backed up. <laughs> Heads up, but actually, I don't know which video is gonna be first, but there's there's gonna be one more drama video I, I have to make, or I already did it, but I have to make a response video to, <laughs> to the video Scratch made about my video. I wasn't really... I don't think that was very very fair response. I don't feel like he really watched my video on his reaction video. He kind of skipped most of it or talked over it and he kind of didn't really um, seem to understand what I actually said on the video. He kind of missed or he kind of assumed things with, without watching the video, I guess. Don't really want to prolong the drama, but I really have to respond to it. Do I want to go with this? Or Mikake? That's gonna be on weekend, when I have guests. I don't know if it's gonna be... Might be before or after this video. Either on Saturday or Sunday. So far it's going pretty well, I'm going back up in rankings. I think I was already at like 450 or 440 or something like that, and I just dropped down. It depends so, so much on what kind of enemies I meet. By the way, I haven't. I don't think I used Wukong in, in a single match today. Wukong is kind of a lot harder than Grotos because Grotos can do do a battle against Harima much better. That's why I think generally probably I prefer Wukong except the Harima is so. Like he, here again, he has both Armands and Harima, so there's no way I can go with the Wukong. I feel like if I get Harima, I'm probably gonna use the Wukong a lot more than I do right now. And I probably probably see my enemies using Wukong more than Rotos. I, I don't know if that's just me, but I feel like I actually meet Wukong way more than Rotos. Also, I'm super excited about the new new Seeds Wars. I don't know if it's gonna be like, what are we gonna call it? Is it gonna be Clan PvP, Clan Wars, Castle Sieges, Territory Wars? I don't really even know what that system is called yet, but uh, pretty sure it's gonna be the Clan versus Clan PvP that people have been asking for a long time. It was definitely one of the things that um, was in my mind when I uh, when I was planning to make my own clan. Come on, please give. Okay, never mind. I was gonna say give us reaction, bro, but he he didn't even go for the nuke skills yet. 
Nice. Even though Narcissus isn't in stone skin, he took those hits like a champ. Now he can actually do some damage. Okay. <laughs> That, that, was, that was kind of surprisingly easy. We, we were at like a massive disadvantage and then Narsus just gets one turn with his A2 and we we're, were good. Or are we? <laughs> he does have double lockout, that's kind of scary. Okay, I, surely we're good. Ankor Revive is super OP. Yeah, okay, okay, nice. Wait, what? Man, we're actually on a big win streak. I guess a couple of the fights. <laughs> I think with these three fights, we all missed missed it on the video. My my bad about that. I think the last one actually was kind of close. But I think the other, other two, we, we were pretty good. But yeah, I, I'll, count, I'll count those. <laughs> I'll count those battles even though they are not on video, so it's uh six wins and one loss. Damn, that's actually actually pretty good. Hope we can keep keep it up. I feel like I used to prefer going with Mikake and Narses as the first two in this situation if they get Armons instead of Dutchess, but Yeah, I kind of feel like having both like Dutchess and Angor can actually be pretty good for me. It it's sometimes very very handy to have double reviver. Should we do the same thing again that I'm gonna pick the nuker last? Or no, I think I can just go for Rodos to be honest. He already picked three supports. Unless it's like a new Kyumek or something that I have never seen before. But it's pretty safe to say that he can't go with our base or UDK anymore. What, what, what can I even use? Tormin is kind of gonna be useless. He has Angora. And Helicat is useless. He has buff strip and lockout. Or two buff strips and a lockout. I'm kind of running out of um, supports and filler champions. Who is even helpful here? <laughs> Should I go with Arbiter just to have another reviver? Mm, okay, let's go with Necrot. I feel like nothing would be that insane, but um, I don't expect that my Arbiter would be faster than his Yumako. I, I did get my Arbiter a little bit faster, I think it's like 370, but it's not that fast. Oh, okay. I guess we can't stun everybody, but we're gonna stun some of them. Or, uh, wait, never mind, Ankara just goes first anyway. Well, we still reduce their turn meter, so it's not completely useless. Did he just misclick? I always do that, but I don't see my... Wait... What? Where's the stuns? Okay, never mind, I guess he didn't misclick. Why didn't we stun anybody? I, I wasn't paying... But then, did he really like resist the sun on everybody? I opened with A2, right? Okay, I, I'm not even tired, but now I'm super confused. What what did what did just happen? Did he have like two champions in his team resisting the stun at the same time?
Weird, weird. Yeah, I did use it, and... Hmm. Wait, now I don't even know which one of the nukers is protected by Ankara. That's kind of bad to not know. Okay, let's see if we can sleep the... Taras? Okay, we can't. I'm still super far away from Marius, by the way. In, in case somebody's gonna ask about it, I will use it when I get it. <laughs> Make no mistake about that, but I'm not even close yet. The Wukong can just one-shot my team at any time, it's kind of looking bad at this point. I think both of his A2s he didn't proc Helm Smasher, he kind of got a little bit unlucky there. Oh fuck. I dropped the dropped the box of the GPU, but there's nothing inside. I don't know if I really should have even switched the second form, but we could kill the Wukong now and actually get a turn with, um, wait, I guess he's gonna get, he could just revive it with Angora with A2 back, should I even do it? But I think Wukong is gonna kill my Narsus before he gets a turn otherwise. I think I, I lost it either way, to be honest, but I, I don't think it's gonna go Go well for me when I'm gonna revise the Wukong. Wait, can I kill it twice? Oh, okay. He didn't use the revive for that, maybe? What should I even do here? L let's farm some heal streak procs. If I can just get one A2 down, I would wipe the floor. <laughs> floor with him, everybody will get one shot. Maybe like double like I would probably overkill them by like massive amount but can I even get a turn or like get to use a skill I'll definitely get a turn on him or I already got but yeah and I think Yumega is gonna have the lockout um, now. I'm not even sure if I'm gonna get the... Wait, maybe I shouldn't have killed the Wugong. I'm not sure if I can even get the revive up, and even if I do, I'm not gonna get anything else up. I think we lost. Even, even just a simple lockout that isn't like Galatir or Krixia, the new top dogs, even Yumeko is a pain for me. Okay, can, can we stun the Yumeko? Come on. Okay. So, okay. At least everybody didn't resist this time. Angkor, Angkor might be resistance, but she was in stone skin at the start anyway, so it's not like we will have profit. Okay, can I sleep the Yumeko? If I can sleep, maybe I can even do a ability or Narsus. Does he even have his cooldowns up yet? Oh, not yet. And by, by the time he does, he's gonna get locked out.
What? Angor resisted it, but got slept anyway. What? Like, he's having a hard time killing me, but I'm not able to get any those. Oh, okay. That A1 did a lot. I guess those kill streak uh, procs are adding up. Not that, not like the Yumeko could be that tank anyway. Wait, should I switch form? If I do the A3 now, I think I'm... I mean, if I do the A3 on the second form, I, I think I'm gonna kill the... Kill the Angora, but... Uh, yeah, she has resistance. I don't want to risk A1 and she doesn't even uh, die to it. I would have gotten the other cooldowns back next turn, so... It kind of pains me a little bit to switch the form, but... Let's do it. Eh, it's kind of good. I guess we can... We got the two turns stunned there, but we can maybe reduce it a little bit on the second form of Mikage. That, that sucks to get a two turn stun. Wait, should I just... Yeah, I probably should have just hit the Mikage. Yeah, I mean the Yumeko, it's so low HP anyway. I'm pretty sure I already... Hit the limit that Taras A2 is gonna do half damage on Duchess, so I probably don't need to hit it anymore. It's weird the long battle. I don't know how I lasted this long, like, without killing him. Can we extend, extend the duration of the ally protection? I guess we can. We wouldn't kill Yumeko anyway. Okay, we need... I don't know if um, he's just getting very unlucky with the Wukong and not rocking Helm, Helm Smasher, or maybe it's not very good gear. His damage seems a little bit low, to be honest. Oh, nice, nice. Okay, surely, surely we can't lose at this point. There, there's no way. Yeah, I, I don't know how this battle took me nine minutes, but somehow it did. Probably was super, super close that I could have lost it to if he just got those Helm Smasher procs. Okay, let's see. Wait. <laughs> One of the things that I didn't do yet on my PC for sure is that I didn't uh, log in Reddit, and for the life of me, I'm so not gonna remember my. <laughs> oh, fuck. I'm so not gonna remember my um, Reddit r r uh, Reddit username uh, unless it's tied to my Google account. I can't recall. Oh fuck. Looking too much on the other screen. Okay, he got Narthus and Ankara. I guess I'll just go with Rotos and UDK, even though it feels kind of silly to pick Rotos against uh, Narthus. But to be fair, if he can do like one or two A2s on Narthus, his damage is gonna go down massively.
damn, he even got the Wukong. Do I, I, I guess St Staldos would have been okay. Anyway, I guess we're gonna go with it. Wait, where is the... Okay, there. Staldos and Wu, I can't pick Duchess and he got the Ankara. This is not looking good. I guess we're gonna go with Mikake and just go all in. There's no reason really to go with Arbiter, I think. I'm not like I would one shot him before he gets a turn. Strongest Duchess in, in the game? Interesting. Uh. Hmm. I almost feel like going for the. No, I have to go R base, but if I want to do anything on Rodos, I have to do it anyway. Yeah, I kind of looked at the build and then I was like, what? But yeah, I mean... Let's let's take a closer look. So he has very high resistance. I guess it's a good build, yeah. Resistance isn't super popular. Darts is kind of out of meta. But 1.1k resistance on Darts is actually very impressive. Some people can't even hit those numbers on Mitrala. And it's actually very tanky too. Okay, yeah, it's a, it's a very good build. I was a little bit surprised about the resistance stats, but I guess its stats are insane. Oh yeah, it's a plus four. Okay, that 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 does help a little bit. Yeah, it's a very strong one. It's just I don't know if that build is the way to go. In well, I mean, I would use that build, but it probably. I'm assuming that he has other revivers. Probably wouldn't be one of the main revivers. Like, or I would use it, but I don't think it's his best reviver. Let's say. Fuck. Okay, that <laughs> that works. Both of the Nugars are in Storm Skin. It's not good. Assuming that he has like Angora or Sifir or something like that, I think that Gust build might be pretty interesting like with those, but if he also has those, it's not like I wouldn't use it in every single battle. E even even with those, w with that insane resistance. The Duchess uh, damage mitigation with the passive doesn't do anything against Narses. And like many, even like just, you know, George, it is easily, easily gonna one shot that Duchess. So it's not like resistance is the on only way to deal with. Come on, weak it, weak it. Ah. Didn't do damage, but he got a stun. He could have weak. If he weak hit, we would have won there. It was kind of close. What? This guy is actually like super high points. 11,000 points. I'm almost surprised that he's using these champions and his these high points, but maybe he picked them a little bit to like try to mess with me. I don't think those are, those are not probably what he usually picks, but it was super close. The Wukong could have weak hit or just not stun us. I mean, isn't the stun like 50% chance? I feel like we actually kind of got unlucky there. Let me double check. I guess I could see it in the game as well. Um, yeah, it's 50% chance to proc the stun. And he could have also weak hit, so, and, which is 30% chance, so... It was much more likely than not that I wouldn't have gotten a stand on my Rotos. But, and if that didn't happen, we certainly would have won it, so... Super close one. A little bit, uh, little bit sad I didn't win it, because... I guess winning against 11k point opponent would have been a massive... Uh, massive ego boost or morale boost for the video. Damn, it's a plus 4 Harima. <laughs> Fuck. And an another super high point guy in row again. Mm. Maybe we'll save the Nougar as the last pick. 
Maybe Stalos, maybe Rotos. Depends what he picks. Is Kyoku worth building? I don't think so. It almost looks good, but I don't think she really has any purpose for anything. Sometimes people kind of ask me that since Seeker used to be kind of used in PvP years ago, why not Kyoku when she does the same thing and more? But the game has kind of moved, <laughs> moved on past from that a lot, so I don't think so. Yeah, we're, we're gonna go with Trotos. I don't think Stalthus will do super well against the Warlord Lockout. Mario's missions suck. I agree, because it's taking me forever to do them. Okay, I, I don't think we're gonna do as well as in the last battle, but let's see. He does have the stone skin. I mean, I guess he has immunity too, but... Um... Oh, we got rid of it. Can can Rodos go before Lazarus? If we can... I don't think we can one-shot it. Oh, okay. Maybe we could have one-shot it with A2. Pro A A1. Probably not, but maybe. Maybe. Okay, what about... Can we reset the- By the way, there was a massive debate about it. Some people were telling me not to hit Harima with the Ankara A1 and that it can proc the like cooldown reduction. But other people were saying, oh, you see, other people were saying, like, I got like, I don't know, five to ten messages on both sides. Some people were telling me that you can proc it and some people were telling me that you can, but I had to like double check myself and you most certainly can proc it. Okay, we wouldn't have killed it. Not even close. He has Polymorphon. Yeah, Polymorphon CV. Damn. Actually, I kind of want to use the A2 on CV and not Lazarus, but Lazar we have to go for Lazarus. Otherwise, it's going to kill us. Damn, if we got the A2 back there, it actually would have been useful. Eh, eh, we're, we're screwed either way. There's no way Rotos is gonna get... <laughs> get another turn on this battle, I think. Yeah. Double lockout, Harima passive, endless CC from Sifi and 3rd meter boost, and you name it, he has everything. I'm always having to deal with lockout and more often than not nowadays it's not even one lockout but it's multiple lockouts because of like Lazarus and Galatir and Grixia who do other stuff than just lockout and then, then they have some other lockout too. No, Sifi. Well, that makes two of us. At least he got the Armands.
Oh, I mean, maybe it would be too OP. If if I'm gonna just did like defense buff instead of strengthen, I feel like those two buffs are kind of considered equal. It depends on situation which one is better. But having the defense buff would be super useful for offensive purposes too, for defense scaling nukers, and there isn't any good good champions other than Sifi who do defense buff or like like PvP like as a support. And yeah, it would be I would much prefer if Ankara did defense buff instead of strength and then I think it would open up a lot more options to or you for instance use you storm in a lot more uh, often and consistently. Like I have Mikake. Mikake can do like buff strip. I could force Tormin against the Sifi if I had a defense buff on like a reviver or like a main champion. But I, I don't. Okay, let's go with Angora. Come on, we took two beatings in a row where we can take a third one. Yeah, like here for instance, I think I probably would go with Tormin if I had defense buff because even though he does have two champions with immunity, I, I can't ban either one of them. We do have buff strip on Tormin A2, which is single target, and on Mikage uh, A3. So we kind of could do it, but if I just pick Tormin without defense buff, the damage is not going to be there. But yeah, we're gonna we're gonna go with Wukong. He doesn't have Harima, he has lockout, but it's kind of doable. Okay, no protection set. Protection set is super super common on CFs. It kind of used to be meta, maybe like a year ago. Then it kind of faded out and people stopped doing it. But now with the 4P stone skin or for this protection, I mean, I mean the accessories on protection and stone skin. With those, now you can do like five piece protection and two 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 piece speed sets. Now protection is like skyrocketing in the use again. And obviously, CF is the champion most commonly used on it. Not only does she like want to go for high speeds. Oh, nice, nice. I, I guess it just came over. Not only do you go for super high speeds on her, but she does do both immunity and defense buff, which can be insanely good to have, have protected. Did we lose anyway? If I hit Rotos now, we're just gonna proc the passive. I think we lost, but I I guess I have to hit it. Maybe I can... Maybe I can survive with Mikake and kill both of them with the... What? What? We didn't even proc the Rotos passive. Okay, I guess that's better. Maybe I can buff strip the... Yeah, maybe I can buff strip the trolling with Wukong A3, maybe. Come on, please steal it. Oh, we did! Oh my god. That was super lucky. Well, to, to be fair, in that other battle, I got very early. Then, ah, it's not even good enough. <laughs> I I was getting worked up, worked up over nothing. If we had a two, maybe we had a chance to win. But nah. The other Wukong got got lucky. I totally would have won that otherwise. But okay, it, it didn't even matter here. Anyway. Okay. Now we're now we're taking some beat. We had insanely good start, but now it's three losses in a row. <laughs> Let's not make it a fourth. But yeah, to, to be fair for the Reddit user, that might literally be the highest um, resistance build that I have ever seen on a non mitral it, it was super high. On Mitrala, for obvious reasons, because of her passive, you can certainly do a lot more. And I used to run a Mitrala with like 1.3k resistance, 
couple years ago. It actually was super good in that meta, but that's that's long time ago. That's when Ravandu was used in offense and even Madame series and Kaimar. Okay, Ankor and Mikake. <laughs> I definitely would have picked both of those. Hmm. I don't know if he has Harima or not. I kind of want to go with Wukong, to be honest. But well, nah, nah, I don't. Nah, I don't. Let's just go with Rotos and UDK. I still have bad memories on getting weak hits on those Ankaras. He's only going with one Nougar, but it's not like we can ban it. We, we would certainly, certainly lose if, if we uh, if we ban the Harima. We're just gonna go with the Armands like always. It's kind of becoming a thing, I have spoken about it before, but you see these kind of strategies fairly often nowadays. Like, often if they have this kind of combination with um, multiple lockouts and fast team well like Armand is basically like a lockout they can just go with one nuker he would for sure just <laughs> kill me down with the supports if I if I ban the Harima which is kind of insane but uh, he definitely would it would not even be close Like, I, I just wouldn't get a single turn ever against him. Oh. Ankara took surprisingly high damage. Co considering that he had, like, a Arima passive in the team. If we got extra turn there, then Ankara would have already died. Damn, Necrit is being useful for once. We didn't get stunned on Rotos because of it. I mean, yeah, he, yeah, he does have buffs. Oh, what? What? What even happened there? Did we just get 3% and we resisted the buff strip? It's not like the buff strip is protected. I guess the shield is, but n nothing else. But, well, okay, the projection, but not the immunity. Can we kill it? It gained a little bit. Yeah, okay. Next turn. Probably I can kill it with A3 now, and then with the Harima up. Oh, okay, we can do this, but I don't know if I want to kill the... I think I need to go for, actually, yeah, we need to do this. I don't... We could kill the Ankara. I don't think we should do it. I don't think Ankara has the um, shield yet, and we can heal more health on Necret if we do this. Not sure if that helps him to, like, survive one hit that he otherwise wouldn't, but we'll see. Probably I still lost, I'm not sure. Okay, come on, can we do it? Okay, we still have two turns left of Necrit protection. Might be enough to do it. Or I mean, yeah, Necrit is gonna die, but um, 
we were untouchable for a little bit. Ah. Uh, oh. Oh, we didn't get... We didn't get defense uh, attack debuff on us, I mean. If we don't weak it, we should kill it, right? For sure. Yeah, okay, nice. Wait, did, did we actually win? I'm pretty sure he's somebody that um, watches my videos. I guess we'll know if he DM... No, okay, we still lost. Anyway, almost felt the taste of vict victory, but not, not quite. But yeah, yeah, I definitely seen his name in comments, I think, so... Maybe he will see this this battle where I almost almost beat him. God damn it! Now it's like is it five five losses in a row? Ah, uh, no, okay, four four. By the way, a little bit chilling here, but um, if you watch the video this far, you're probably subscribed, but if you're not, then consider doing it. I'm not very good at the, the YouTube, um, like the thumbnail and the clickbait and the chilling game. I'm not very natural at it. Should, should I put those? Um, those bell, bell and subscribe uh, animations or icons at the start or the end of the video. I know many people do it. I think Plarium even like, I think there's like some, there's, we have like an art folder where Plarium gives us the images from game so it's easier to like do thumbnails and so on. I think they even put a couple of those like subscribe images in there that are like completely unrelated to raid, but I think they actually did put some of those. They're probably like from some like, you know, public free to use thing anyway. But um Yeah. Probably I'm not gonna add them. I just need to need to do better content so that people um people subscribe naturally. I I feel like for me, at least, it's kind of cringe when people do it. If it's like a good video and they do it, then I'll like, then I'll definitely do it. But if it's not, then I hate when they when they put those uh, icons on the screen and tell you to subscribe and that kind of stuff. He's going, I don't know if that's triple nuke or is it actually super Wukong? I think the one guy we battled earlier today, there was actually one person with super Wukong that wasn't in nuke build. Where is the Staldos? I can't find it again. Oh, there. I feel like, oh yeah, this is one of those issues that, um, yeah, I've been struggling with this the entire video. Now I figured it out. It's one of those things I mentioned that I got, uh, new windows installation and all of the settings are screwed one of the things is that when i was grinding my daily stuff in the raid today like after the every like i i do like 15 minutes of faction wars on auto and then i realized realized that it's on like one x and that that happened with like every single every single dungeon and instance in game that you can do everything was on one x speed and i forgot to 
forgot to switch it until afterwards when I was done with my run when I like looked at it. Maybe we should have banned the Sifi here to be honest and not even Harima. I think we could have gone for that. It does have double reviver though, so maybe Harima is still better. Nah, we we have the UDK and I don't think he banned it. Mm, yeah, okay. Yeah, th th that was definitely the right decision. Maybe I'm <laughs> I'm second guessing myself too much. Of course. Oh fuck. Yeah, so it it is a support Wukong. He he had maybe it could be a Wukong, but I think it's a support Wukong with a lot of accuracy. Ah, oh, fuck. We had triple reaction and we didn't proc it. I think that's it. I think we lost it. Can we even kill the Rodos? Okay, barely. Ah, and we're just gonna get bullied by the CFA1 when the Wukong is, uh, I mean when the UDK is uh, in the sheep. Yeah, we just can never get a turn. But wait, 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 wait. Can I not just, I can just remove it with this A2. I've, I've said this before, but the Mika A2 is surprisingly useful. You think you're, you're never gonna use it, but sometimes, not often, but sometimes it's insanely good that you can do the A2 and like there we just remove the sleep. Mika G is super good, don't, don't underestimate her. Even though she's basically a free champion, the, the only free mythic champion, she's definitely one of the best mythic champions. Like, she isn't even uh, average or below average, she's definitely Maybe, yeah, I would say top 5. I would even put her in top 5. Some people might disagree. Maybe she's like 6 or 7 or for some people. But I, I would put her in top 5. Probably like um, Galatir Krixia. Galatir Krixia, Siegfrund. It's, yeah, it's kind of uh, debatable. Galatir Krixia. No, I, I would maybe even put her as the third to be honest. Some people are gonna <laughs> not not like that answer, but maybe I would even put her above all of the Mythic Nukers as the third best Mythic champion. Okay, we we almost got it, but because because the UDK got polymorphed at the start, that, that screwed it up. Maybe I should look into putting my UDK in Resistance build. I mean, the Wukongs don't. They're often nukers, but they have some accuracy. And they also often have the accuracy bar from Mikage, which people pair with Wukong. So, in those instances, Resistance UDK would be very good. Even though sometimes it's not gonna be as tanky and so on. But I think it's a pretty like small detail. I'm not even sure if I can make a good build for that. Uh, I'll have to look it later. I think I did look about into that maybe a couple months ago and it didn't look good so I didn't go for it. Oh, he didn't pick Angora. Probably it's gonna be his last pick. We, we could kind of uh, yoink it from him. 
So he may probably have like Sifi or something like that. Maybe he wouldn't pick it anyway, but I think we're gonna go with Ankara. Ankara and Wills. We could even go with Helicat, but we still have to battle Yumeka and he's probably gonna pick some kind of buff stripper. Like Mikage, he could totally go with Mikage, so. Uh, maybe we should go with Mikage, now that I think about... Maybe I should go with support Tormin. Should I do it? Let's see what happens here. Wait, what? Damn, I didn't even have two nukers anyway. I thought I did. Thank god. I thought I had... Had picked Wukong already. Okay. Damn. That would have been a big mistake. Probably I should have picked Wukong. <laughs> Wukong instead of Thorne. I, I mentally, mentally thought I already had picked it. What? He's using... I have never seen this champion in a battle. Weird. Uh, also, I wasn't expecting to be able to... ban the Yumeko. Should I actually... No, I will, will ban the Yumeko. Yeah, yeah. I don't think he has immunity buff. But we'll see. I mean, I... I don't recall everything he does because I I don't have him and I never fought him and he didn't seem very relevant. But pretty sure he doesn't have immunity. Damn, nobody got frozen. What? That's kind of unlucky. That's super unlucky, by the way. I don't think anybody resisted, they just... They just didn't get frozen. Oh fuck, I forgot about that. He has Maritska. Maritska can cleanse the destroyed HP. I should have just opened with... Oh, okay, finally we get some freezes. Mm, maybe it's fine. Yeah, maybe it's fine. Maritska can destroy it, but... Um, I guess it has cooldown. She could have used it, but she didn't. And we're gonna... Uh, yeah, we're gonna kill it now. Wait, wait, wait. Can we just kill Maritska? We can totally kill Maritska. At least with the proc. Oh, okay, nice. I think we're good. Surely, right? Wait, uh, can we kill it fast enough? If we can get this, this fast, we could do one more battle. Ah, okay, I'm not gonna... I'm not gonna make it in time. Come on. If you're fast. Okay, nice. Okay, we're just... Yeah, okay. 30 seconds. It wasn't even close. I didn't have time to analyze it. I wanted to instantly press escape and skip it. By the way, there's a good... Um, People often forget about it, and many people don't even know about it, but you you can cancel those uh, post-battle information screens with escape, and that can kind of speed up your classic arena push a little bit if you do that. I don't think it's the biggest factor, because uh, can you beat, beat enemies and how hard does your defense get pummeled? Those are a bigger deal. But if you're doing well on those departments, you might be able to shave off like a second or two by pressing the escape button after after the battle. So now you know if you didn't or forgot.
interesting Leorio, so he does have 6 star blessing I think Le Leorio is actually pretty good I feel like Leorio's, Leorio's is almost underrated champion which is kind of funny thing to say but even though he's kind of basic nougar without like ridiculous multipliers even though it's good if he's low HP but his utility is still pretty relevant in many situations I would for sure use him if, if I had one uh, I guess we're, yeah, we're just gonna go with Wukong we can pull it off again Mm, do I want to go with Dodges though? I do. Well, yeah, I'm gonna ban the Narsus. Even if he picks Galatir, which I hope he doesn't have, but even if he has Galatir or Grixia, I think we're still gonna go for the Narsus ban since I already picked the Dodges. Who is in Bolster? Okay, Necret? What? I mean... It's not like a bad team, but this is... I, I guess he probably isn't the biggest spender either. This is like... I guess Ankara didn't exist back then, but all of those other champions were meta a couple years ago. Not that much anymore. It looks a little bit... Uh, all, all team, let's say. Yeah, th there's no Harima, there's no like lockout or anything like that. Necrot protection doesn't really like face me at all. Like Wukong and Rotos are just easily gonna plow through it. I don't think those shields are really gonna make any difference at all. Can we can we get the block pass step up with the Wukong? That would be super nice if if we can. Okay. <sighs> he resisted it, come on. I like removed all of the other other buffs except somehow out of all things Leorios resisted the block pass step up, but I guess it doesn't matter anymore. We got him low enough to kill it with Rodos. Ah, almost killed the Arbiter. I, I thought that I could maybe do it. <laughs> 16k damage. I wasn't expecting the UDK to kill Leorios, but UDK's damage is often surprisingly decent okay we ended up on the win i think we were like a lot higher points though like we we took a massive dip yeah during the five battle loss streak but okay we we got we got a couple pity wins at the end L let me show you something embarrassing so as you can see, I'm not even nowhere close to Marius yet. It, surely it's gonna take me more than two weeks, but maybe maybe two weeks at the earliest, not even close. So super looking forward to it, but also another issue, I mean it's still better than to not have it. But I also don't have 4 p stone skin on um on Marius, which I think would be super needed for him. I actually can do it on attack scaling Nougars from Skinwalkers and not from not for defense scaling ones. Do I have like a good banner or something? No, okay yeah it's like it's a five star amulet with like six star ring that is okay. That's that's still doable. I had my Wukong in stone skin a while ago but he's right now just in full damage but um let me show it quickly 
Yeah, we have like a defense ring <laughs> without defense substat. This is so bad that we can't use it. And there's no banners, of course. And I guess like the five star amulet is fine. I would use it if I have another um, another usable piece. And yeah, everything else I have already chaos sword. Like you, you see, there's like a bunch of pieces. I have chaos sword. Everything else, don't really want to chaos sword the his attack amulet. Even though I'm not using him on anybody right now, but I might and double attack ring on attack mage that is still pretty good. There's no way I can. Um, Wait, I clicked the wrong one. There's no way I can rework that. So maybe maybe by the time that I get Marius, I can I can do the four piece stone skin, but I wouldn't even be able to do it right now. I, I feel like four piece stone skin is actually make it or break it right now on especially worse snookers, but just overall it actually impacts your champions a lot. I can't do it on Guineva. Um, I could do it on Initve, but then I can't do it on Helicat, but basically I can't do it on Initve. And I can't do it on, um, on Xena. If I could do it on any of them, 4 piece Stone Skin with 4 piece Lethal, I would use them. And I think on all of those champions I need like one piece of uh, Stone Skin to be able to pull it off. And I would, I would want to get get it both on Narciss and Toromin as well, even though I used them despite it, but I would want to get it. Oh yeah, I need to upgrade this, I forgot about it. I I got like a new helmet and new weapon during this last Dark Fae rotation. Not, not that I, I have like two other good helmets too, but this fits in this build and I have kind of like a new Tormin build with, with the random uh, Five star merciless piece, but we we do get the fifteen percent grit damage, so it's worth using. It's a little bit weird set or weird combo, I agree, but um, it's the most damage. But I would still, even if I lost some damage, I would rather have him in um, I, I'm not gonna upgrade these right now. I'll do it later. I guess I could technically do it, but there's some missions where you need to do it, so. I'll save it for them, but I, I want to get the get the gloves right now, but yeah, I... Oh yeah, we, we got even these gloves I got on this rotation. I got so many good pieces on on this rotation, I'm not gonna lie. But yeah, I would... Even despite all of these crazy good new pieces, I would still rather put him in 4 piece stone skin. It's just so valuable. And even though this set is very good, it's kind of slow, I don't... Really like the speed. Two, 208 is actually pretty pretty slow for my level. And you can see we have a weird banner with accuracy and triple defense. But um, I wanted to get accuracy. I'm kind of low on it. Or, this accuracy is okay, but I don't want it to be like 200 accuracy on Tormin. Anyway, those, those, those are some uh, my future plans, I guess. And, some insight into it. That's it for this video, have a nice day and see ya.